I'ma tell y'all how y'all can slide into her DMs. But first, you have to have your Instagram profile intact. It has to be nice. It has to be on point for her to even consider the fact to even trying to DM you back if you DM her. You know what I'm talking about? Put some effort into your Instagram profile. Like, don't be taking no pictures with your face covered like this or having money covered over your face, trying to flex and taking off guard pictures like this. And nah, have clear shot view faces. Preferably, those type of shots are the best shots so she can see who you really are, so she can see her face clearly. Me, personally, I like professional photos. It just looks clearer, looks more defined. Um, the clarity of the photo is absolute to none. Understand me? Like, it'll help build a better connection. It'll make her feel more comfortable with you just alone through a professional picture. I don't know what it is about it, but it just makes them feel more welcome to you. And also, it makes it look like you got motion, like you got something going for yourself. You know what I'm talking about? I mean, it just looks professional. You know what I'm saying? And you don't have to just be so uptight and be very professional with it. You know what I'm talking about? But you can. You know what I'm saying? You want to show that side of you that you can be professional. You want to show that side that you do have motion. You know what I'm talking about? You want to show the side that you are a businessman. You know what I'm talking about? And put extra effort into your Instagram profile like maybe put a few hobbies in there that you like to do you dig maybe you like to write poetry you know what i'm talking about put that in there maybe you good at playing the piano or guitar you know what i'm saying put that in there maybe you a traveling nigga you know what i'm talking about put that in there make your instagram profile look appealing you know what i'm talking about put effort into your shit don't be having any lame ass bios don't be having none lame in your bios don't none of that you know what i'm talking about don't put your age in there. Don't don't do none of that. A bitch got a bitch got to get to know you. You don't you don't you don't get that type of information off off the rip. Do fuck that shit. Don't do that shit. If you gonna put something in your bio, put some like some player like shit. I don't know, born hustler or striving for greatness. Um, if you do something, a uh, content creator. Um, fucking uh, stock trader. Or something like, you know what I'm saying? Your profession or something, you know what I'm talking about? Something that'll grab somebody's attention. You know what I'm talking about? Don't let them know too much about you because you never want to show your hand, especially on Instagram because there's so many people in this world and there's so many people in this world that want you to fail and you don't know who your enemy is. So you don't want to give your enemy too much information and you don't want to let too many people know about you anyway. You know what I'm talking about? You only want you only want to let a certain kind certain amount and certain kind of people inside of your life. And they have to earn that from you. So if you put something in your bio, let it be short and sweet. You know what I'm talking about? But on to the next, bro. Look good. Take good pictures. You know what I'm talking about? Look good in your pictures. You know what I'm talking about? Dress nice. Fly guy. You know what I'm talking about? That type of shit. You know what I'm talking about? Um, but this is what you do. You don't have to follow her, but you can follow her. So let's say you don't follow her. And you do follow her. You follow her, right? She follow you back. Wait a few days. Like a few pictures. I say like two, three pictures. Don't do no more than that because then it would be like you look thirsty, like you put on a pedestal. So like, just like two or three pictures, and wait, give it some time, give it about like a day or two. If nothing don't happen, don't push the situation no more. You know what I'm saying? Just let that be that. You know what I'm saying? But if she return the favor, return the love, and like your shit back, and slide in the DMs. Now what you can say in the DMs, I'm gonna get to that in a minute. I got a few, I got a few tricks up my sleeve that I'm gonna, I'm gonna get y'all. And I really think y'all gonna fuck with it type shit. But let's say you're not following her. Do the same thing. Like a few of her pictures. Give her some time. See what she do. She might follow you back. She might like some of your pictures. And if she do, then she, she flirting back with you. 
digitally. So that means take advantage of that situation. You know what I'm talking about? Um, but whenever you're doing this, like I said, bro, don't be flooding her notifications. Don't be going in there and like in six, seven, eight pictures and commenting on all her pictures and just over validating. I already told y'all about this shit. Don't be over validating these bitches. Like, don't do that shit. Don't be commenting and doing all that shit. Keep that shit in the DMs if you want to say something to her, you know what I'm talking about? This all has to play in the perfect moment, like I just said, if she flirting with you back, you know what I'm talking about? Liking your shit, she continuously liking your shit, or you ain't even got to like her shit. She just be constantly blowing your shit up or constantly showing you love or constantly commenting on your shit. Take that advantage. Slide in her. When you slide in her, shit, you can slide in the girl DM multiple ways. Like, you can reply to her story. She can just... But don't reply to a story and she just posted a picture of her with her ass out at the gym or... You know what I'm talking about? Showing her body off and shit like that. Don't don't, don't, don't DM her. Reply to her story off of that shit because at that period of time, it's a whole lot of niggas DMing her, telling her she look good, valid, over-validating her and all types of shit. So you don't want to get lost in the sauce in those DMs, you know what I'm saying? So just wait for a random opportunity. Like let's say she posts a picture of where she eating it or if she walking in the park or she posted something about her car, you know what I'm saying? Slide up, ask her a question, you know what I'm saying? And then just let the conversation just be the conversation. Don't force the conversation. You know what I'm talking about? Let the conversation flow. But there's different ways you could do that. You could slide into the DM with the eyes emoji, you know, with the eye, the, the two looking eyes emoji like this. Like you can do that. You can look at it that way. You know what I'm talking about? She might respond like, "What you looking at?" And then you are gonna have to come through with something smooth, or you could either back door. You could back door. You could DM her with the emoji like this. You know what I'm talking about? She gonna DM like, "What? Huh?" Or is she gonna be like, what you thinking about? You hit her with something smooth, like, shit, I'm thinking about why you ain't gave me your number yet, type shit. You know what I'm saying? Or you can hit her with the hit her with the emoji, like with the eyes emojis, like I'm looking at you, and then with the pointed finger emoji, like I'm pointing at you. Yo, make a laugh type shit, you know what I'm saying? All types of shit, like, it's real easy to slide into a girl DM, you know what I'm talking about? Those are a few tips, a few tricks that you could use. Um you could also use parties, events, or or, or or situations that you're going to get yourself into. Like, let's say you about to go out with a group of friends or something. You know what I'm talking about? And shit, let's say you, you got reservations for something. You can DM them and just be like, hey, we need some extra people to to tag along to fill up this extra space. You know what I'm talking about? You want to come? You want to come have some fun? You know what I'm talking about? Just let me know. What do you want? Straight like that. It's real easy, bro, to just slide into a girl's DM, but you just have to wait for the perfect time. And you have to be real precise with your words. You know what I'm talking about? If you never seen me before and you're new to my channel, you're new to my videos, welcome. But if you are subscribed and you do know who I am, Again, welcome. My name is Ray Fetty. Make sure you hit that subscribe button right now. I'm on the road to 1,000 subs and I'm pushing it. Thank y'all for the love and all of the support that I've been getting. I've been going up lately. I can't be any happier. But the last point that I want to make is don't try so hard whenever you slide in her DMs, bro. Like I just said earlier, let the conversation flow. Let the conversation be the conversation. Say what you have to say then let that be that. Don't put no extra effort. Don't put no extra thought into it. Take a risk if you need to. And let that be that. Because she can tell if you're trying too hard. And that's going to turn her off. She not going to want that type of shit from you. She want a nigga that's going to be nonchalant about the situation. If I get you, I get you. If I don't cool. I ain't worried about it. Like, 
don't be the nigga that's just overdoing it, sending too, too much, especially through a text message. You know what I'm talking about? If you haven't checked out any of my videos before, go check out my videos. Whenever you say less, it really, it really strikes something in a woman's brain to make her feel more attracted to you because you seem mysterious. She doesn't know your motives. She doesn't know what you're really up to. She don't know your intentions. So whenever you speak less, less is more. You know what I'm talking about? So the less that she gets out of you, the more that she wants out of you. And she will become interested into trying to figure you out and she will become interested in trying to get to know you more. You understand what I'm saying? See, I was DMing this chick that I knew from a long time ago. And the conversation was going so well. And it was a lot of mystery within the conversation. So she was very interested in knowing and remembering my name. Would she remember my name? I know for a fact she remember my name, but she was just playing mind games. These are the things that women do. So she asked me what my name was. I know for a fact she didn't. I know for a fact she didn't forget my name. She asked me what my name was. I told her what my name was, and then I told her. I said I remember you too, but I just don't remember your number. You know what I'm talking about? On some smooth slick shit. Then she asked me. She was like, "What you need that for?" Then I hit. I hit her with the back door shit. So smooth. I said, "If I told you, then you would have me figured out." You would have me figured out if I told you what I needed your number for. So now, that right there is going to leave me in a mysterious spot. She's not going to know my intention. She's not going to know my motive. You know what I'm talking about? Mystery builds attraction. And I'm going to go into that, into that in a whole nother video. But that wraps up this video for right now, man. Make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe, comment. I'll see y'all in the next one. I'm gone.